Okay, first off, it's a lot buff right here, yeah. Okay, right here. It's a blade. It's a, it's a real good blade. Blade-like things. Comes through the hands if they want to. It's like... Coming in right through the palm of your hand. And it's like impaling someone like 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 like, like it's nothing. Uh, that line was just to point something out. Okay, now uh, first part. They hold a gun. A gun is right here. I can't draw a gun. I just put that like that. And I can show you that like right here in real time. Here's a airsoft gun. Doesn't matter. It's on their arm like this. Something like that. And it's just it hangs on it like 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 nothing. It flips forward, falls into their hand, and they fire. And you know something can fire like a regular rifle like they usually like people do on TV stuff, but then they can just use regular pistols and stuff. Okay, second so these things are like super human. A lot like Terminators, not really, but still. Break off their arm. This is broken off. They can use whatever that's there and make a Gatling, a small Gatling like gun from the thing. I can't draw that good. Gatling gun would probably be something like that. Can't spin in my hand. Something like that. Then the third and final weapon they probably have left would possibly be. Is a small nine millimeter gun, something like single shot, and that's about it. <laughs> then they can like take these things off if they want to use them as regular swords. Then they can also fly, a bunch of good flying done with it. Magnets, all magnets. It's all used by magnets. The blade wings are used by somewhat kind of like plasma. Yeah, plasma stuff that that helps in it. And the suits that everyone wears is pretty pretty good. Now the suits, they okay. Shoot, who's who's played Resident Evil Five or looked at Evangelion? Damn, I don't I don't fucking know anybody except Titus, but he's gone off the face of the earth for now. So okay, the suits eh, equivalent of the suit probably look like this: Resident Evil Five. Jill's suit, somewhat like that. Looks a lot better though. You know what I mean. Something like that, but not really. Then they got helmets. The helmets, I can probably draw the cockpit if I can. I'm not really good of a drawer if you guys can see. Cockpit, instrument panel, whatever. Okay, there's a plane like right in front of me. Here's the square, and the helmet, the helmet, say God, I can't draw that good. Right there, they're little things. They can track missiles from, like, below them, like, they can see a sand coming. They can, uh, spot radar craft, and if they're looking, they can look beneath them and lock onto somebody. Look, look like, right below them, lock on somebody. Basically, um... Technology you would probably see within the future. That's kind of how I can describe it. Or if you guys watch Dog Dog Fights, Future Dog Fights Part Seven, something like that. <laughs> but seriously, that's what they can do. Everything's the same. It the the suits they really take stress off the body. So they can make all the maneuvers they want to make. But that can't happen in real life. But that's just the way I make it. So just shut up. I know. I'm, I'm kind of fucking pissed off. <laughs> Let me see. What else is amazing? I want to show you real fast before I leave. The first notebook I started writing on in January. The first thing. All the ideas I put into it. All the stupid things. As you can see, names. I try to come up with some emblems that I couldn't come up with that much. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that good of a drawer or 
good penmanship, really. This is what I uh, did so far, and you gotta admit that this is some some good stuff to be done within a whole, at least less than six or seven months. I've written all that whole front and back, and I wrote some stuff down on the back. This is the V2. I was just trying to explain the V2. The new V2 is a lot more different. The V2 is, isn't really a V2 anymore. It just has multiple nuclear weapons inside it. Multiple, multiple nuclear V1 nukes in it. Now, it bursts open like like like, a, like the star, like this. This releases the nukes. Here's it bursting. It gets fired off by Solgs. But the V2s aren't really used that much. The only ones that really are using this is just V1 nuclear weapons. Well, that was just some crappy drawing they couldn't finish up right. And that 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 that's about it. There's a new Ocean type of thing. It's a laser weapon chain. If you guys played Ace Combat X, it's a lot like that. It's like it's around Aurid. This fires lasers. And that stupid crappy drawing is that I put back here. You guys saw it for less than a couple of seconds. That's where mostly everybody goes inside. They fly their planes into the tunnels. I can't draw it. <laughs> and that, that that's about it. I, I can't really say that, that much more. Like I goes against the entire Ace Combat timeline and I can't really think of so much stuff to put into it and I'm using someone else's ideas to make my own idea and I'm not that good of a person, really. <laughs> I guess I can't really think. But since you gotta admit that this is kind of neat. The helmets are called HMDs. Anyone wants to know? It's an HMD. And here's our here's our um uh our group. Yeah, three members. This is where my friend Ice likes to talk about Ace Combat 7 because he wants it on his thing. And this is where, if you want to join the group, you can look at it too, if you don't want to join. Because I wrote down all the ideas I had in here. Sure, it does. It goes against the timeline somewhat, but not really. Just this will tell you a lot of information I made. I can get into it like a little bit. I start you off. Okay, most things begin in 2011 with the discovery of the Cancivus 2011XF. That's also be 01, not 11S, right? It was discovered a couple of months after the end of the Circum Pacific War, Ace Combat 5. Many nations knew what would happen after seeing one tragedy. That mine shaft you blew up in Ace Combat 5 and Ace Combat 0, whatever you want to call it, was discovered by Gebbit soldiers. They found a bunch of V1 nukes. There was a bunch of nukes in them. I mean like a bunch. And they put those in the Solgs. Because they build a bunch of Solgs. You just got to read it yourself. And I guess that's about it. And I, can, I can't really say that much more. Because I, I don't really know myself that much. But now you know the timeline. <laughs> all the ideas that I have. All, what I've done. Really. And that, thanks, that's about it. If you want to watch more, I'm making a walkthrough from Ace Combat 0 to Ace Combat 6. I've already done Ace Combat 6. I can't upload the videos yet. <laughs> okay, thank you.